Hello, I am Dr. Philip Patty, a member of the Society of Vascular Surgery. This video will help you understand the need for open surgery in the treatment of vascular disease. In order for vascular specialists to offer patients the full spectrum of treatment options, it is becoming increasingly important for training programs to focus on performing open surgery when deemed appropriate and necessary. The current use of open surgery can best be understood as the gold standard for certain aspects of vascular disease, an important adjuvant treatment in other arenas, and a bottom line rescue strategy for failed endovascular treatment. To illustrate this, I will focus on specific clinical areas such as carotid disease, aortic and peripheral aneurysm, and lower extremity occlusive disease. In carotid occlusive disease, open surgical repair involving carotid endarterectomy remains the gold standard to which all percutaneous interventions are compared. Periprocedure stroke rates in most major series remain less than 1%. These excellent results have been shown also to be directly dependent on the volume of procedures performed by the particular surgeon. At the present time, carotid stent is best reserved for hostile operative fields such as severe recurrent stenosis or necks with previous radiation where the risk of complications such as nerve damage is greater or in the setting of controlled research trials. Until carotid stent has been proven to be equal or superior to carotid surgery in these trials, open surgery will remain the procedure of choice. Repair of abdominal and thoracic aneurysms is generally performed using endografts when the patient's anatomy allows. Depending on the particular patient population, repair of infrarenal aortic aneurysms with endografts may only be possible in 60 to 70 percent of patients. When the normal aortic diameter is, is too large, the distance between the aneurysm and the renal arteries is too short, or there is too much angulation, then open aortic surgery for the treatment of abdominal aortic aneurysms below the renal arteries is the treatment of choice. Occasionally, open aortic surgery is necessary for stent graft failure. For example, when there is an endo leak which, proceeds, which persists when endovascular adjuvants fail. When a thoracic or abdominal aortic aneurysm involves the renal or visceral arteries, the celiac and or superior mesenteric, repair of the aneurysm is best done with open surgery. At the present time, there are no commercially available endografts that can deal with this problem. In patients with lower extremity occlusive disease, endovascular or percutaneous methods to revascularize the legs are being utilized more frequently. Open surgical bypass with vein, however, remains the procedure of choice when the level of atherosclerotic disease extends below the level of the knee or there is concern for complication or tissue loss. Limb salvage rates are greater than 90% with open surgery as compared to 75% with endovascular treatment. As these examples demonstrate, open procedures are important tools for your vascular specialist to manage specific patient problems and often complement endovascular or less invasive forms of treatment. This patient education video was made possible by a grant from Cook Medical. To learn more about vascular health, visit vascularweb.org.